and welcome to The Body Coach TV. My name's Joe Wicks and this is day number eight of my 21 days of strength challenge. A brand new workout every day for 21 days in September. Now this workout today is all about lower body, so it's quads, hamstrings and glutes. I'm gonna be using a pair of kettlebells, but I'm just gonna demonstrate quickly how you can still do this workout with a pair of dumbbells. So things like front squats, you can obviously wrap the dumbbells up nice and close to that. Even with kettlebell swing, you can hold the dumbbell and still swing, getting the exact same movement. So don't feel like you need a pair of uh, kettlebells to do this workout. Uh, but I'm gonna be using a heavy pair of kettlebells. I'm using two, I'm using a pair of 20 kilogram dumbbells, so kettlebells. So it's a heavy set for me. And we've got six exercises. And we're gonna be going through slow and controlled, Strength session, this is about a heavy weight, but with control, and I'm gonna be struggling on the last couple of reps because this is heavy. And um, yeah, I'm gonna wrap them up for the first exercise, 10 front squats. So when you're ready, either with your dumbbells, one in each hand, or your kettlebells, we're gonna wrap these up. Oh, oh, right. And it's 10 really strong, controlled front squats. Here we go. One, oh, it's gonna be, Oh, I don't know it is. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Nine. One set complete. Good minute and a half rest. We're doing three sets of that. So as I said, I'm using the kettlebells because they're heavy, I just feel like I can grip them a bit better. It's fine with the dumbbells too. Oh. That really takes that. The thing about front squats is because the weight is not on the back, it's on the front, it's pulling you forward. So you've got to really like brace your core and I feel like the quads it's so much more focused on the quad, so great move, good start. We've got another two rounds on that before we move on to the next exercise. Oh, it's amazing how high that gets your heart rate. Big muscle group. Okay, so we're going for a second set. Same again, we're trying to control that movement on the way down. Feet nice and flat on the ground. Trying to keep, I always find it so hard, I end up like moving my feet continuously, but I'm trying to stick them in, into the ground, plant them, keep them flat, heels on the ground. That's why I'm using these, I like these kind of flatter trainers, or I would do this normally barefoot, because if you want a really thick rubber heel, you just, you just don't get the support, your, your, your foot's rolling, your ankle's rolling, it's just moving, so having a nice sort of flat, sharp sole is really good for strength leg workouts, yeah? So, Second set, you ready for it? I'm not, but we're gonna go for it. It's hard enough getting these up. Right. Okay. Second set. Here we go. Come on in. One. It's always a bit dodgy. It's like it gets, it gets air trapped in it or something. Ah. Got one more of them. That's 
a step up for me. 20, that's 40 kilograms front squat. It's just challenging so many muscles in my body to really keep my posture, my back straight, to get deep into the squat. Oh. Dang great. Right, seven minutes rest. Then we're gonna go into our next exercise, we're gonna do some kettlebell swings. Once we've got a dumbbell, like I said, you can do a dumbbell swing, which is gonna be focusing more on our hamstring and glutes. It's gonna be a sort of soft bend in the knee. We drive through, activating our glutes and hamstrings. It's a very good exercise for working the posterior. So we don't wanna just be working the quads. We've got to balance things out, get the old rear working. Okay, get your weights ready. Third set, and with these squats, you'll, as your legs get tired, you'll find that your like, knees start buckling in and start sort of coming in. Really brace them, drive them out. Strength, squeeze, contract at the top. Here we go, third set. Remember, this is strength training. If it's too light, stick a bit on top. Third set, here we go. Oh, these are heavy. Ooh, okay, right, final 10 reps. Let's go. One, push through the heels. Two, three, four, five, six, struggling now. Six, come on, up, up for seven. Seven. Eight, ow. Nine, last rep. Ow. Oh. Oh. No. Ah. Oh. 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 Very hard exercise that. Oh, I found that hard. Right, a little stretch. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna go into oh. some kettlebell or dumbbell swings next. Oh. Oh, let's have a little stretch. Stretch this pigeon pose. Oh. Oh. Right, up we get on our feet. Oh, that's really heavy. Okay. It doesn't hurt when it clicks, but it's such a weird sensation that pops. Ah. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna have some swings now, so either with the kettlebell or the dumbbell, we're going for 15 reps, three sets. So again, we're not squatting the weight with this, you don't squat. You just bend, stick the bum out, hips bend, drive, Hip through, getting it to eye level if you can. Here we go, 15 reps, let's go. One, two, three, four, use the glutes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and relax. Excellent, so you're trying to just get it to eye level, activate the glutes, squeeze for the muscles working. Two more sets on that. Oh. Front squats are doom. 
Same again, yeah? 15 reps. Okay. We're connect with these muscles here. Really think about sticking the bum out. So soft bend the knee and then the weight comes through so it hits your bum away. And then drive it. Just so you can see it with the dumbbell. You've got to you can do a single arm like this. Or if you can hold with both hands, you can exactly the same movement. Just with the dumbbell, yeah? Right. Here we go, second set. Swinging for the win. Right, 15 reps in three, two, one, let's go. Swing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Squeeze those glutes, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. That's a great way there. One more set, final set on this. Seven minutes rest, keep the rest a bit short on this. And there's my next exercise. Right, let's go again in 45 seconds. Third and final set of the swings. Again, try not to get lazy with this and using your, you know, don't pull your shoulders. It's not really an upper body action, it's just this posterior chain so swing not pulling up just the momentum pushing your hips your, like your thighs forward against your arms that's what creates that swing that momentum so keep that momentum going we're going again in 20 seconds final set big swings yeah through the glutes think about it hamstring glutes so squeeze clench at the top in three Two, one, let's go. One, two, three, good. Rep, reps, four, five, six, back nice and strong. Seven, eight, pop it up. Nine, ten, last five. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and relax. Oh, right. Little recovery now. My next move, we're going to do something called a briefcase lift. So imagine you've got a heavy briefcase and we're going to pick up from one side. So what you'll find is this can be a dumbbell or it can be a kettlebell that your, your body is trying to pull you over. So you've really got to use your core. So what I'm going to do is just put this foot here. Imagine this foot's light, just on the tiptoes. So I'm not really using this side, I just want to drop down, pick up, drop down, pick up. So we're going to do 10 reps on the right side, 10 on the left. Imagine this leg's just super light, it's just, just balancing, just slightly back. So you're there, slightly back, and then from there, we're just doing like this right side, so the right thigh is working. Drive through the heel and up, heel and up. So really, you're bending this leg, but there's no resistance coverage. All coming from that right side. Okay, so we're going to do 10 on the right, 10 on the left, heavy weight if possible, because you want to feel like it's pulling you down, core engages, and you're driving through that right thigh, you're going to feel it all through the side. It's a burner. Are you ready? So, left leg, sort of diagonal if you like, a little bit out to the side. We're not using this leg, it's light, the weight's on this right foot. Let's go. Do one, two, three, good. Four, don't use this leg, use the right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Excellent. Left side, straight in, same again. Right foot's out, slightly to the side. Loading the left foot now. Weight to the heel of the foot and let's pick it up. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Excellent. There you go, it's the briefcase lift. Great little wide training, great exercise, single leg move. Let's get ready for the next side again. So I'm going to show you from side on. Left leg just out to the side in that diagonal. Squat down and we lift up. Okay, so a nice strong briefcase lift on that right side. 10 reps in three, two, and one. Let's go. One. Two, three, four, ah, five, six, ah, seven, eight, strong core, nine, and ugh, ten, and relax. Excellent, you're going to feel your core into work. So we've got left side now, right leg just out to the side, and this is soft leg, you know, just, that's just really tip time. Do all the weights down from this left side now. Left foot on the ground. Here we go, let's lift. One, two, three, one, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine, last rep. Oh, and rest, right. Done with those. Just the two sets. Just the two sets. Next thing I want to do, if you can, one dumbbell, one cup on each hand. And we're going to be doing some curtsy lunges. So basically, what we do is have a reverse lunge, but you step back and across the body. So you sort of step back and across as if you're doing a curtsy to the, the queen. We're gonna go for 10, well 20 reps, it's 10 on each leg. So 20, bang in one set. Big weights if you can. We're going again in 20 seconds time. Leg workouts take it out of the I still feel stiff from the other day. Especially in there, right. Here we go. So, one dumbbell on each hand or one kettlebell on each hand. Two sets on this. We're going for 20, a count of 20. 10 on each side, here we go. Stepping right back and across the body. Let's go. One, and we go for two. Two, good, we're going for 20 of these. Three, four. Ah, seven, heavy weights, eight, nine, ten, halfway, eleven, twelve, ah, thirteen, fourteen, ah, fifteen, come on, hold on to the weights, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, uh, 20, uh, uh, oh. Oh. If you're lifting heavy weights, you should feel that burn on me. If you think this is a breeze, you just haven't got the weights, you've got to stick a little bit more on. Oh. Set on those curtsy lunges. Okay. Oh. Leg burner, eh? Heart rate's well up there as well now, look. Oh. 
Okay, we're going in for our second set. Start again in 20 seconds. So hang on to those weights, arms are hanging down. Step back, back and across, get right down, drop that back knee towards the floor. Here we go again, you ready? We're gonna step it up. Okay, here we go, side on. Three, two, one, so step back and across, one, two, three, four, six, last set them, this for 20, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, ooh, Two more exercises. Up on our feet. So the next one, either holding your dumbbell or kettlebell, just one rep or one kettlebell or one dumbbell. Oh. What we're going to go for now is some sumo squats. Hanging the weight in between our legs. And we're trying to get almost to the ground with it. So, oh. so from there, look, we're going to be sticking our bum back. One, two. Okay, so really strong, really low, wide stance sumo squats. We're going to go for some high reps, and we're going for 15 reps, two rounds. 15 reps, two rounds. You ready? So wide stance, turn the feet out. Here we go, three, two, one, let's lift. So 15 reps, let's not count that one first, we count this one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, get as low as you can. Ten, five more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last rep. And relax. Right, that was too light for me. I'm gonna go for the doubles next. I'm gonna do exactly the same. I just need more weight. Oh. One more set on there. We've got one more move to finish. Okay. Alright, so I'm doing exactly the same. Except this time I'll have two kettlebells, a bit more weight for me. So if you thought that was too easy, add a little bit on. We're starting again in 20 seconds time. Oh, leg workouts are short but they're so intense. It's such a good way to train. I'm really enjoying the lower body stuff. I finally sort of fixed my leg. I had a really bad injury. I'm really packed tight pain through here and I've been doing a lot of stretching. And one of the best stretches is the pigeon pose. So like this when I have my legs like that. It's just incredible how much that's opened up this channel through here. So if you are struggling with anything in the hips, you know, focus on your hip, hip your lower lunges like this, your pigeons, um, 
Think of it as you know, getting down, opening up a little bit. Anything you can do to create that space in the hip joint is going to be good for you, right? But the pigeon really opened up for me that the glutes and everything unlocked it. Amazing. Okay, last last set on the sumos. So this is obviously double the weight. I'm still going for 15 reps. Here we go. One, two. So we're going to do a, another hamstring exercise, we're going to do like an RDL, so holding one dumbbell or the, or the kettlebell, what we do, hang it down, stick our bum out, so we've got to stretch those hamstrings and when you feel that to stretch, you pull back up. So stretch the hamstrings, so you're not trying to bend too much, you're just stretching the hamstrings here and then pulling with them without arching your back. Right? So you might be able to go, you might be really flexing your hamstrings and go like right to the ground like that. But if you're arching to get down there, it's too low, you could just go just below the knee and up, below the knees and up. Just think about using your hamstrings and glutes. This is the final exercise, one set, 15 reps, pull in with the hamstrings. Again, I think I'm gonna need one of each because I don't think it's heavy enough. So do one or two. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. So stretch those hamstrings and, and hold one. Two, last set of the set workout. Three, Four, stretch, and five, six, 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 seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, eleven, use the hamstrings. 12, 13, last two reps, 14, now straight back, pull, 15, and relax. Ah, oh. oh. I'm gonna stretch after that. Plenty of stretching, plenty of water. Another fantastic workout as part of my 21 days of strength training. I'm so proud of myself, I'm eight days in, and hope you are enjoying it. Hope you're enjoying the challenges and just slowing things down a little bit from the usual sort of high intensity stuff. But trust me, we're burning loads of calories. Building strength is an amazing way of training. So combine, combine the strength off of your hip, you have an amazing physique, be super fit and feel amazing every day. So thanks again, have a lovely day wherever you're in the world. And please come back tomorrow for day number nine of my 21 days of strength challenge. See you soon.